real real quick uh uh hades um so i i have beaten hades I, I at least the first time you you beat hades the character i don't know if i have it in me to do it nine more times just because i think i've gotten my fill of that game and there's just other things i want to play on my switch like um i need to finish up super mario sunshine i haven't touched galaxy i want to get origami king then there's mario 3d world coming out um, I'm excited to find, game I've been playing. It's I'm good. so excited to finally get to 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 finance that soundtrack I've been listening to. <laughs> but uh, since, I, guess, since I never could play it since my Wii U was stolen. But uh, oh, no. in, in between building furniture and putting this room together, um, the only game I've really been playing has been uh, Valhalla, and so I just kind of have a, a jumble of notes here, and I'll kind of go through them. But it is. An Assassin's Creed ass Assassin's Creed game. Like if you've played Odyssey, it's basically that. The only real substantial differences that it's doing is that there's not side quests in the traditional sense where you have a log. They're kind of more diegetic. You'll stumble in an area and it's just kind of like this rough s- circle encompassing it. You don't get any text. You don't get any markers telling you what to do. It'll be like you, you run across a farmer who says like, geez, there's a lot of rats in my field. I don't know what to do. If you walk around, you'll see a lady who's complaining about her cats in her house. You let the cats out, the cats get the mice. But there's, so there's no, it does, it's not very explicit about what to do. And so in that sense, it's nice. But at the same time, there's not necessarily rewards. And sometimes it can be frustrating because a lot of them are glitched. You don't know like where specifically what to do. So it's kind of a double edged sword in that regard. Um, there's entirely too much side shit to do. And a lot of the exploration is necessary in order to upgrade your weapons in order to get new abilities in order to play optimally. And this game is obsessed with hiding collectibles underground. So you need to find like holes in caves on these, on these Hills. You need to find, you need to break into like a house to get to a secret cellar and it is fucking annoying as shit. And I ran into one instance that it, that, aggravated me actively and like I, i'd been going into open world games with the same mindset of i need to stop fucking doing side content i just need to do i just need to do the main line the main line quest is already long enough i welcome do, do to not, hell we can't do yeah. that <laughs> yeah like like don't bore yourself with this fucking side shit that's not even good um but i ran into a thing where i i was i spent so long trying to get into this underground area to to get a collectible and then i found a door i couldn't get past I'm like oh fuck there's, there's not skills you need in order to open doors did i miss something i'm walking around the hill trying to find like a secret entrance and you can dive like under lakes to find like secret underwater underwater entrances uh no it turns out the solution was i wasn't far enough in the story where that door just magically fucking opens and i'm just like fuck you game you wasted like an hour of my time <laughs> behind this fucking arbitrary ass door and i'm just like you know what fuck this game fuck trying to um play optimally i'm i'm literally just going to mainline it like like this game has broken me out of my completionist habit with these kinds of games where I would like to get the chess. I would like to do this side quest. I was like, Nope, just mainlining it. I'm going to get the fucking tower so I can fast travel. I want to do the raid so I can do some upgrades because, because that's very explicit. You go there, you do it. Like there's nothing you can really miss, but it almost seems like it would be better if like, if you want to have gated off content like that for story progression, just have something pop up when you walk up to the door and just be like, note, not accessible until you exactly. complete X mission. Like I've seen games mm-hmm. do that. It, it, even Metroidvania ones, they just tell you like, hey, you don't have the thing you need. Just come back later, okay? I mean, yeah, it's whatever. But it, it's still technically the animus, just say not available in the sequence. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like 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 you're still in the goddamn animus. Just like Must oh, complete sequence you can't num- this five dash three before you can access this memory. <laughs> mm-hmm. I, they I never was, went in this game at this point in time, so you can't do it yet. Boom. I, I will say there is a bit of a sense of humor in the side quests. Like there's one where you're playing, you're doing like a little fake raid with some kids. You're playing along like, Oh, I'm a big strong warrior. Here are these kids playing like pretend Viking. And then you're done playing with them. And then you realize the kids are from an enemy warring faction. Cause they start saying like, Oh yeah, fuck the Raven clan. We're going to kill them. You're like, Oh wait, that's me. I was training. Uh, no, I don't want to say little Nazis. Cause okay. Th- that brings up a bigger issue. A I bad, do, guys. I do not give a shit about the characters in this game. So early on, you're, you're, you greet someone from the Brotherhood or the Hidden Ones, like they're calling themselves at this point in the timeline, whatever. It's, it's the Assassins. 
Um, they seem to not give a shit that you are a Viking. Your entire purpose in life is to go to other lands and steal and fucking murder and pillage and raid these places. It's like you're kind of inherently a piece of shit. And the assassins are just like, I don't, I don't know. We don't care. So I just find it hard to give a shit about anything I'm doing when no one addresses what you're doing is inherently fucked up. Cool. Um, I, I think I've already talked about the combat on on a previous show. I like how the stamina system works and it is nice. Uh, they do. There's one minor gameplay annoyance for me and that uh, swapping between bows. You do have to dig through the menu in order to swap them. There's no quick swap, which I believe even origins did. You could swap between, I think it was like four different kinds of bows. It was on the D pad. You could so. swap between them because I like using the predator bow, which is basically a sniper where you can control where the arrow goes mid flight. And uh, the way that Odyssey did it, it didn't have multiple bows. It was just one and the different kinds of utilities that they had were relegated to um, your your ability bar. So this is more like Origins in that regard, which was which I don't think is necessarily a good thing. Um, so that's a little bit annoying. I do enjoy the difficulty in some of the fights, but a lot of it feels incredibly artificial where, I don't know, this guy's level 90, you're level you're level 80. You don't stand a fucking chance. Don't even bother. Like you, you can't get good enough with tactics because tactics don't fucking matter if you're not the same level. Mm, and that feels sense. incredibly fucking annoying. Um, one thing I do like about it that remedies a lot of my, not a lot of issues, but remedies a big issue with Odyssey is that it's not giving you loot every fucking 10, st- every 10 steps you take. Um, so loot in terms of like equipment, like your armor, your weapons and whatnot, it's very rare you get weapons. So in that sense, they have more of an impact and you spend time upgrading them. So it's more meaningful in that regard. It's not just fucking vomit like it is in Odyssey. Um, but the negative of that being that you do have to upgrade your weapons, which means you do have to explore these fucking frustrating exp- exploration segments. So it's, uh, it's a mixed bag all around. But I think that's about it I have in terms of Valhalla. Um, open to questions. I, I've, I'm only like maybe 10, 15 hours in, something like that. It's a big mm. game. I've, I barely scratch the surface in terms of like how long it can be. I, I would just I would say just play Odyssey, to be honest. <laughs> oh, wow. Really? Yep. That's unfortunate. Especially now you have your 3070. Just play it on PC, buddy. <laughs> well, jokes on you. I hated Odyssey and I loved Origins, so I'm going to play Valhalla. <laughs> to be fair, you already That's own it. On you. I do. It's just sitting there. <laughs> Might as well. I haven't played. Gathering dust. I haven't played an Assassin's Creed game since Assassin's Creed 2 was sort of new, so I have no input on this. Mesa, have you played any of the newer uh, Assassin's Creed I, games? I've played about. 10 to 15 hours of origin of uh sorry of of uh odyssey okay i want you are specifically useful to me in this regard okay um you, you're useful to me in many regards but this is what i need you for specifically right now. <laughs> i miss older assassin's creed games such as so syndicate would have been the last one just give mm-hmm. me a big open city and mm-hmm. let me do side quests and stuff like there like i think like the rp the rpg uh, I don't want to call it trilogy because they're not necessarily intertwined, but these these last three games, I don't like them as much as older Assassin's Creed games. Yep. Older Assassin's Creed games are more like, I don't want to say comfort mm-hmm. food, but I really enjoyed them. As someone who finished Assassin's Creed 2 this morning, I, I uh, agree. I, I think they can keep like the, the combat changes, but I just want... I don't know. Give me, give me a big city. Give me a lot of characters. I, I don't care about all the RPG mm-hmm. mechanics. Um, yeah, because it seems like, uh, it seems like yeah they were so 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 they 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 lucked out on Assassin's Creed two, right? It feels like they lucked out on men making this very very good, um, robust game, and. They were kind. They're kind of lost a little bit, so they made the, the game again, but with a lot of the features that they couldn't add, implement the first time. They made Brotherhood, which is you know, amazing, and then they did that again, and they made Revelations, which is less good. And they were like confused. Okay, we need to move on. 
what do we do? Mm. America, that's the... (laughs) 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 And, oh, wait, people really like the pirate stuff from America. Let's do that again. And it just feels like they're constantly in that cycle of not really knowing what to do next. And they're just kind of reacting to how people reacted last time. Um, I think the best Assassin's Creed game in years is uh, Ghost of Tsushima. Exactly. They've been outdone. Mm-hmm. Even though it doesn't have a city. Um, Man, I just want to play Syndicate. I'm going to reinstall that as soon as we're done. I'm, 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 I'm is this good through. and then you just said something and I miss it? <laughs> I loved Syndicate. It was Sarah. legitimately one of my favorite Assassin's Creed games. I know it Sarah disagrees really with good. me on this. Uh, Evie should have been the only playable character in Syndicate. I disagree, but I love Evie with all my heart and soul. Her brother is just such trash and garbage that I just love him so much. Just like, think about it. Jacob, Th- Jacob's a lot of fun. Evie's the better twin obviously this could be canonical there by the same no, I hate publisher it. no i hate it go yes, away good for audio listeners i'm putting my rabbit and uh evie funko right next to each other go away it's gross well ubisoft is in the universe i mean uh, apparently every assassin's creed splinter cell and watchdogs game is connected so I just want a new fucking Splinter Cell. I need I need a new Splinter Cell. You'll take Sam Fisher and Rainbow Six Siege and you won't like it. <laughs> I, I want more. I need more Sam Fisher in my I life. Wanna, yeah, I agree. Um, I, I, I guess I'm about done just because I haven't played much. But uh, basically, you want to go ahead? Uh, all right. Uh, well, yeah, I, I, I beat Assassin's Creed 2 this morning. <laughs> um, hey, that game was really good. Uh, um um uh and you know what it, there's there's this reputation that assassin's creed games are long and i feel like that has cascaded into assassin's creed assassin's creeds be, being like uh 100 hour rpgs now when you know assassin's creed 2 that's like 30 30 40 hours you know you beat you can beat that if you blitz you can beat that in like three days um uh again so yeah i, I beat uh, I, I i got i got the secret armor um i unlocked just about everything i could for the money making aspect of two um and yeah it's it me your uncle mario <sighs> just a good <laughs> game just a really really solid game um though i've and so i've i switched to brotherhood um right afterwards uh brotherhood uh, looks a lot better. I was surprised how much better it looks than two. Since uh, I, for context, you're playing the uh, remastered trilogy, right? That's true. I am playing the Ezio collection. That's right. I'm PS5, which, you know, load times are so they're nice. Um, um, I, I, it's weird to me because I think Ubisoft peaked incredibly fucking early with their Assassin's Creed protagonist. Like Ezio is hands down the best protagonist they've ever had in that series. And he hasn't mm-hmm. been in the Ezio's game really since... Good. Let's see. Assassin's Creed 2 came out 2008, I believe. The last game he was in was Revelation, which was tw- which would be 2010, or no, I that that'd be so. 2011. 2011, 2011, because yeah. three came out to 2012. Apocalypse, whatever, blah blah blah. Um, but yeah, they peaked early because I the only protagonist I can I can like distinctly recall that I actually give a shit about were it was Ezio, mm-hmm. Evie, and Cassandra. You don't you don't care about um you don't care about uh oh, you know what Glory Swore uh, said Edward? Edward I did like Edward yes okay but that that was such like an outlier because he's like barely an assassin in there but like his personality I really dig him I mean technically Ezio is it oh fuck was it Syndicate where you find his armor and his body or was that Black Flag I I guess because I know be one of the s- games you you go into the assassin's vault. And you, you find Ezio's armor and his like skeletal corpse. Did you find Altair as Ezio in uh, Revelations? That might be what I'm thinking of. Yeah, like if I if I recall, like early, Ezio died it? like on a farm. Like he was hell old or was, or something. Yeah, like that. he was like old and he had a wife or something. I don't. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't remember. Uh, I still these answers. Uh, because uh, Ezio Ezio gets killed. I'm pretty sure. Uh, at the end of Revelations, I think. At the, no, no. The, there's the uh, there's the 
There's the uh, no. There's like the little animated like like twenty oh, minutes. Oh shit! You're right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I yeah. Hope and two. That's about it. The movie that has the isn't it the Chinese assassin chick? Yeah, yeah. She's yeah. Yeah. Ezio trains her. Yes, you're right. Oh my god! It's Are we talking back. about the Michael Fassbender movie? I was going. No! <laughs> I watched that Garbo. Leave it alone. Uh, I was going to see it. I, I should it. watch it. Anyway, sorry to derail. Go ahead, Mason. Oh, you're fine. Um, Brotherhood uh, is my favorite. Um, my, my, is my favorite Assassin's Creed. Um, for me, it goes Brotherhood two, and then uh, Brotherhood, and then a tie between two and four. I know I said I'm sorry for interrupting, but I have to do it one more time. I wish they would just bring back the fact that you can be a fucking murder machine in those old games where as, as soon as you perform oh, one counter, you can take down 30 dudes with a single counter, fucking counter, hit. Counter, 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 it's counter, counter. beautiful. I, like, it was literally like instantly, instantly when I was playing Brotherhood, it was like, all right, time to time to be the Grim Reaper. And then you just <laughs> kill 15 people in a row and it's over. It's so it good. Dual assassinations, like where you had the extra <sighs> armband and you just went walk up to people oh my and then God. walk away and when they gave you two hidden blades that That's was the saying. shit man that was the <laughs> shit like blew your mind you're like we could have two of these so you just I'm walk excited. up to two guards and take them out at the same time awesome i mean there's two things i'm very excited for in in this playthrough and it's one to eventually start up the whole brotherhood and using that ability like being able like the brotherhood is what makes Assassin's Creed Brotherhood my favorite. Like being it's able to call like a flight hit squad. <laughs> it's a call for help, and you actually get to see you actually see who drops down, and you can recognize them by their armor and know exactly who they are. It, it feels really, it feels really cool. Um, and you can actually see them grow in the ranks and grow into bigger and bigger assassins. Like your um, weird fucked up kids. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And then on top of that, I'm excited. To finally get the berserker darts again because those are my favorite tool in any Assassin's Creed um, and uh, um, Ghost of Tsushima. Uh, it's it's just such a good idea and I, and I love using them every single time. Are you going to go back and play Black Flag as well? I was thinking about getting the 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 Black Flag on Switch. Yeah, Black. Oh, that's coming to Switch. It is on Switch. It's oh shit! I didn't Switch, know. Yeah, it came out um, with uh with uh rebels. Rogue. Was that rogue? It came out with Assassin's Creed Rogue and like a dual collection. Yes, yeah. it's, it's so weird to me that or you can get Assassin's Creed Three for the same price. Like, like obviously, I don't want them to like repeat the same thing over and over. But Black Flag had such good fucking ship combat in it, and mm. and so there's some of it in Origins and a little, and definitely more so in um in Odyssey, but it's not to the same degree. So I, I would go for, for I could go for a full on game about that. No, oh, yeah, it's actually rogue, actually. <laughs> yeah. Skull, yeah. Skull, uh, skull and bones, baby. Just wait another ten years. <laughs> yeah, rogue is basically Assassin's Creed. Rogue feels like Assassin's Creed Four is like little brother. Well, I mean, technically, it is about <laughs> like Edward's kid, isn't it? No, no, it's about no, Edward. no, Edward's kid is Haytham. Haytham yeah. is uh, yeah, Haytham is a Templar dad. Oh man, mm-hmm. I remember that yeah. twist. Blue Rogue, like, is, <laughs> Rogue is Rogue is about um uh, this Irish assassin who becomes who, a Templar. Who becomes a yeah. Templar? Who becomes yeah. disillusioned with the Assassin's Creed? They've never gone back to that concept either, which is a shame. It looks really um, stupid, really um, dumb. Hmm? The comics have gone into assassins changing time, like changing sides. Yes, viewers, there's been so many Assassin's Creed comics. I've read almost all of them. God, uh, the comic that was attached to Assassin's Creed Three, uh, I can't remember what the hell the character's name was, but he was like a descendant of this of this like Russian assassin that only showed up in the comics, and Is that like he the game? sides like times. <laughs> like he went from assassin to Templar, back to assassin, back to Templar. <laughs> like it, like it happens. They just only like talk about it in like the extended universe and stuff. I'm, mm-hmm. I'm not gonna lie. This entire discussion is really because I have most of these on PC. I'm really tempted to just reinstall Brotherhood, reinstall Syndicate, mm-hmm. Black Flag. Yeah, I just really want to reinstall um, Syndicate. I'm, so bad. <laughs> I'm looking at Valhalla. I'm just like, 
Mm. Why are you here? <laughs> um, you, it was really something really stupid about Rogue. I want to I want to get this out the way real quick because so the whole point so so early in early on in Rogue, uh, something happens that basically looks like the assassins don't care about uh, regular people' life, like like the lives of like regular people, and so that that disillusions him and makes him join the Templar side. But when you join the Templar side, you can just freely assassinate normal people. And like, that doesn't make any sense. Mm-hmm. <laughs> wait, what mm-hmm. is that? So wait, you can like GTA style, just kill anybody in the street. Yep. And it doesn't synchronize you oh <laughs> because you're a Templar now. So you're a bad guy. Oh <laughs> Despite you joining the Templars because the assassins were letting regular people die. Well, well, no, it's, 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 it's weird too because like the further on you get like you're basically killing off like who are your cohorts like in the beginning of the game and i if, i don't remember the details but there's something about like one of your old leaders like she's going to use like a like gas bombs against citizens and shit you're like wait what? why would assassins do this like like they're leg- they're legitimately doing it i'm just like what the fuck is this 180 shit I mean, I hate to be that person who dives into Assassin's Creed lore, but it could be the Templars making the Assassins Are you really evil dead. diving into it? Yes. I mean, for that, I can only say it could be the it could be the Templars making the Assassins look really bad. In, they um, I remember it being pretty explicit. And one of the Assassins in Rogue that you turn away from is your mentor from 3. Yeah. You cripple him, if I what? remember. Oh, wait. So does Rogue take place before 3? Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Interesting. I never cared about Rogue. Rogue takes place like 20 years before 3. Like 20 to 30 years before 3 does, yeah. Interesting. Still doesn't even care enough to play it, though. (laughs) (laughs) It's, oh, it's... I never cared about it, so... It was so weird that when it launched, it was only... So this came out in, I want to say... 2014 because it was a year after black flag that was 2013 it was the same year as uh, as, a unity Unity. yeah so they had unity is like the next gen version and then Mm -hmm. rogue is the current gen one yeah and so if you wanted to play it was weird because so if you have like a next gen console it's like oh here's a significantly worse looking game and it 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 took them forever to make like a proper next gen version of it so if you wanted to play like a good version of it at the time it was like pretty much PC. Otherwise, you're playing a last gen experience, which is well, kind of like, weird. Keep in mind every story around us. Ask. I'm not a fan of the Revolutionary War. I think it's kind of a boring historical time period, which sounds really terrible in the context of things. So I, like, Assassin's Creed Three was fine. It was a cool Assassin's Creed story. I just found it kind of boring. So like, I didn't really touch anything else related to it. So I'm. That's why I never really played Rogue, because I heard it was related to, to 3. I didn't know when it took place. I just knew it was r- related, and I'm like, I don't really care about mm. this time period. So I just didn't play it, but I did sadly mm. play this... Unity. <laughs> I, two, I didn't two play comments. Unity. Unity's what? fun. I played it when it, it was broken. It, it runs oh, better yeah, now. Never mind, ah. never mind. Then, yeah, yeah. Then that's, that's it, on you, bud. Unity still actually yeah, looks really fucking yeah, amazing, which is kind of incredible. It also um, helps. To, re- to rebuild the Louvre. Or to, to, to the, the, the cathedral that burnt down. You need yeah. to help like, rebuild it, which was really cool. T- two quick things. Uh, one, this entire discussion has made me realize how much I actually give a shit about this franchise. Oh, yeah. Uh, which I'm surprised I by. I like, always cared. I just miss the old assassin stuff yeah and then a uh, second thing mm-hmm. is i think we've been talking about assassin's creed for like 30 <laughs> minutes and yeah have, well, sarah. joker <laughs> sarah, too good better move on thank you <laughs> bye-bye thank you good night <laughs>